Good morning, the best, 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 best boys and girls. Are you ready for some phonics fun this morning? And then some literacy and then some maths. Yeah? Perfect. Oh, I wanted to let you know as well, Miss Koreshi has asked me to ring you, some of you today and some of you tomorrow. So be expecting my phone call because I want to have a chat with you and see how you're doing okay. So maybe after lunchtime today, you might get a call from me. <laughs> okay, let's get on with some phonics. Right, I have another new sound for us to learn today, but let's flashcard all the sounds that we already know to start off with. I'm not going to say them today, I want you to say them, so you need to make sure you're looking. It's going to be silent. You should know them all now really well that I don't need to say them anymore. getting trickier. Trigraph. And another one. And the one that we did yesterday, do you remember it? Yaw. Sometimes it makes an er uh sound too. So mm, I hope that you managed to say all those sounds. I heard some of you shouting them through the, the TV or the phone or the tablet. Well done. Right, I'm gonna show you our new sound today. Are you ready? Do you know what that sound that sound is? It's just a digraph again. It's an e and an er, e and an r. So when you see an e and an er, it makes an er sound. So almost like er, but er, er. And on the back, it is a picture of a postman de delivering a letter. And for this one, I like to say a better letter. A better letter. So he's delivering you a better letter. Maybe you boys and girls got your better letters through the post the other day with your books and your work packs in. So this sound is a uh, better letter. I'm gonna slot it in with all of our other sounds and we're gonna speedily go through them and when you see uh, I want you to shout uh, better letter. Okay, we know so many now. And then I'll let you know another secret too. Okay. Well done. Make sure you're saying them. Shh. Mm. A. Uh, better letter. E. I. O. You've got to try and beat Mr. Armand. You've got to say it before I do. Uh. Oh, another uh. I'm going to keep this sound out. Ow. Oi. Uh, better letter. Oh. Ear. Air. Your or er, uh, this kind of makes an er. Uh. Uh. Okay, well done. Did a good job there. So this er uh, and this er, uh, we have two er uh, sounds. But this er uh, is the last sound that I'm going to teach you in reception. We've finished all the sounds that we need to know. This is the last one. From now on in phonics, we'll be going back to our old sounds and we'll be trying to read them in trickier words and writing longer sentences. And then we'll, when you get to year one, you'll be doing even more phonics and you're learning even more sounds. But for now in reception, this is the last one. So we just have to practice all the ones that we've already, that we already know. Fantastic, see how clever you all are. We've not even finished reception and you know all the sounds that you need to know. So this is er, uh, and this is er, uh, this is er, uh, 
nurse with a purse and this is a uh, better letter so sometimes now when you hear words with the er uh sound in you'll have to think hmm is it a uh, nurse with a purse or is it a uh, better letter so we'll play a little game comparing both sounds and putting the words in the right place as well a little bit later on okay so a uh, better letter so i'm gonna write my digraph digraph because it has two sounds on my board uh it's an a eh and an er uh. now a uh, better letter that's what i've already said so i know i can have the word better uh. eh. t. it is actually a double t two t's two t's because it's a t digraph bet er uh. and that is our er uh sound but eh. Er, better, better. Now let's try the word letter. Better, letter, better, letter, better, letter. They rhyme. L, e, t, t, er. L, e, t, er. Letter, better, letter. I have even more words for you too. About this word. Oh, actually, no, I don't want to do that one. This one. Mm. E. V. Er. Do you know what that says? N. E. V. Er. Never. Never. Yeah? Let's try. This one is a really tricky one, but I'll be really pleased if anyone can read it. I'm not going to say it, you can read it. So make sure you're looking. Magnet eyes. Remembering our er uh, digraph that we're learning. I'll put the sound buttons on so you can try and sound it out. Can you read that word? <laughs> Let's split it up to make it easier. <laughs> Hamster. Hamster! The word hamster? So we've got hamster, better, letter, never. Let's do this word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you read that word? S. O. Er. S. O. P. Er. Supper. Supper. What is supper? 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 It's what you eat before bed, isn't it? If you have a little snack before bed, you can call it your supper. So we've got supper, hamster, better, letter, never. Let's try this one. I'm not going to say it. I want you to sound it out. Did you read it? L A T R. Litter. What is litter? Not little, litter. Litter is when you accidentally throw your rubbish outside and it's not in the bin. Then you can say there is litter on the ground. That's not good, is it? We can't litter. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six words that we know with the er sound. I challenge you to write some more words that have this er sound in. Could you have a go at doing that? Yeah? And I'm actually going to ask you to write some of these words now. So are you ready? Are you steady? Because I'm going to rub these words out and it will be your turn to write them. Oh, I forgot to mention something. So let me just write one of these words back on here. With words like l it er, you see it has a double t that becomes a digraph and we write two. So for words like that, you just kind of have to remember them because words like never, it's not a double before the, the er sound. So for some words, it has a double 
sound it has a digraph but for some it doesn't it's just a single sound so you just have to try your best to learn them and remember boys and girls and when it comes to doing spelling tests you'll learn them then so litter is double t and words like better has a double t digraph and words like letter better litter they all have the double t in and supper has a double t so see if you can remember that if you can't it's okay we can change it when I do the writing. So the first word I want you to write is the word better. Can you have a go? Better. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Were well, you faster than me? Better. The word better. What is my first sound? The. Eh. Er, uh, well done. But et, er, uh, give that a tick. Fantastic. The next word I want you to write is the word over. Oh. No, I don't want you to write that word. The next word I want you to write is the word litter. Litter. Can you have a go? Five, four, three, two, one, zero. The word litter. Have you done the word litter? Can you tell me what sounds I need? Oh, a, t, t, r, l, i, t, t, e, r. Litter. Well done. Give that a tick. And if you didn't quite remember it needed two t's, you can put one in now and change it. Better letter. I want your work to look perfect. Okay. Better letter. Let's do the word hamster. Do you think you'll be able to do it? Hamster. I might give you 10 seconds to do hamster. 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 Sound out both parts. Okay. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Did you manage to write the word hamster in time? Okay, let's see. What sound do I need to start off with? What's the next sound? Ah, uh, m, ah, uh, m, ham. So we have our first part of the word, ham, the first syllable, ham, stir, ham, stir. Fantastic, well done, give yourself a massive pat on the back, a marshmallow clap and a high five scuba dive if you manage to write the word hamster because I'm super pleased if you have. Hamster, <sighs> hamster. give it a tick. If you haven't quite got it right, you can copy mine now. The next word I want you to write is the word letter, letter. Okay, off you go, five, four, Three, two, one, zero. Okay, so the word letter. O, a, t, t, er. O, a, t, er. Well done. Give that a tick if you've got that right too. We've got the word better, litter, hamster, letter. Fantastic. So before we write our sentence today, I want us to play a game with both of the er uh sounds. Er, uh, nurse with a purse, and er, uh, better letter. So I'm going to write the digraphs at the top of my board. Ooh. And we need to sort out some words. So I'm going to say a word, and I want you to point to where you think it needs to go. And then we will write it on, and you can have a go at doing it at home too. Okay, where will the word... Burn, go, burn, burn. You point, where do you think it's gonna go? Burn. Fantastic, it goes with the er, uh, nurse in a purse, er. Uh. Burn, burn. So that's our diagraph there.
Okay, what about the word letter? We've just been learning that one. Where does letter go? You point. Brilliant, on this side. With the er, uh, better letter. L-E-T-E-R. Letter. Okay, what about the word? Never, never. Yeah, this sound that we're learning today again. Er, uh, better letter. N, E, V, R. Never. What about the word? Hurt, hurt. Yeah, with our er, uh, nurse with a purse. Huh? Er. Uh. And there's our digraph. There they are. Found them all in our words. Letter, never, burn, hurt. What about the word after? I haven't done that word yet. After. Yeah, it is. It does belong to a better letter. After. After. Well done. And what about the word nurse? Where does that go? Nurse with a purse. Mm. Er. And remembering it has that special e at the end. Can't really hear it, can we? Nurse. Nurse. But it's just nurse. Okay, so have a look at these words and tell me what you noticed about the the difference between a er better letter and a er nurse with a purse. Yeah. The digraphs for a er are always at the end of the words and the digraph with a er, nurse with a purse are always in the middle of the words. So that's a cheeky helpful trick for you boys and girls to help you know which er digraph to write in which words. So if you can hear the er digraph in the middle of a word and it's not the last sound, then you know it's er, nurse with a purse. But if you can hear er at the end of a word, you know it's er, better letter. So I taught you a helpful trick there. So make sure you're using that one. Okay. Let me rub these out. You can have a go at writing this too if you want. And you can write even more words that you can think of. And I'm going to write the sentence now. And then you're going to have a go at reading it. Can you have a go at reading it? So far. Tricky word, I. N -ev -er. Never. Never. So that's our word that we were learning today with our er digraph in. I never got. Got. I never got. Tricky word. Do you remember what it says? My. I never got my let -er. letter. I never got my letter. Someone never got their letter? Let's see if I can make this sentence a little bit longer. For some children, if you think that's about right for you, you can just write that sentence when it comes to writing. But for some children that want to challenge, I'm going to make this sentence a bit longer because that only has one, two, three, four, five words in. I think we can get even more words in there for our sentence. So I never got my letter in. Tricky word there. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words in this sentence. So I don't think we've wrote a sentence with eight words before. I think the biggest, the longest sentence was seven words, but this is eight. So this is an even trickier challenge for you all. So the sentence now says, I never got my letter in the post. I never got my letter in the post. I hope you've all got your letters in the post by now. But this says, I never got my letter in the post. Oh, okay. Who can spot my er uh, digraph? Point it, point at it, or shout out the word that has the er uh, digraph in. Never. Well done. And letter. Fantastic. Never. Letter. Which are my tricky words? Tricky word I. Tricky word my. Tricky word the. Brilliant. I never got my letter in the post. 
Let's have a go at reading it now. Now, I want to start off by doing it in a posh voice, a very posh voice. Have you got your posh voices on? I never got my letter in the post. <laughs> what about doing it in a sad voice? I never got my letter in the post. And I'm very sad about it. I never got my letter in the post. Okay, a cheerful voice, a nice happy voice. I never got my letter in the post. A sleepy voice. Oh, I never got my letter in the post. A speedy voice. I never got my letter in the post. A slow voice. I never got my letter in the post. Let's do it in a whisper. I never got my letter in the post. Are you ready for a shout? I never got my letter in the post. An angry voice. I never got my letter in the post. A squeaky voice. I never got my letter in the post. Normal voice and I'm going to rub out. I never got my letter in the post. 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 I never got my letter in the post in the post. Off you go, eight words, let's see if you can do it. This is a super hard challenge that I've set you. I've never got my letter in the post. I never got my letter in the post. And remember, I might be ringing some of you later on today or tomorrow. I never got my letter in the post. Off you go, see you later.